Hello, guys. I have a secret for you. Stretch pigs are back. It's another day, another video. Yo, guys, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Stretch bigs are back. Ugh. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over Twitter now. If you haven't, you've probably seen other videos, but everybody's making these stretch bigs that can dribble and do the between the legs and behind the backs like in 2K19. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you guys can just search on YouTube, you know, NBA 2K19 stretch gods or whatever stretch bigs or whatever. You're going to see a bunch of crazy footage from these bigs back in 2K19. But if you do know what I'm talking about, you guys already know this build's going to be OP and it's going to be one of the dominant builds this year. I mean, there is some slight changes you're going to have to make before making this build. You are going to need a required 70 ball handling to be able to do the between the legs and behind the back combos and all of that. Somebody on Twitter discovered that Kawhi Leonard and other big men that have a 70 ball handling can do these moves in the, you know, the practice facility. So with that being said, we now know that if you're a power forward or a sender and you have a 70 ball handling, you're going to be able to do these cheesy dribble moves. But back with our build here, you know, the build that I think I might use now because I love shooting builds. I have yet to decide what build I'm going to use when the game drops, but I think I'm going to make this build. Look, you got to make them a power forward. I like left handers. Okay. And uh, for the pie chart, guys, you get a choice. You can use two pie charts for this build. You can either go with actually you can, you know, use multiple pie charts for this build, but there's only two really good ones. You can either go with the, you know, half green and half orange. If that's orange, is it? I'm colorblind. Who cares? Half orange, half green, or you can do the little slightly green and orange pie chart. Uh, I believe this is a new pie chart that wasn't in last year's game. And this is the one from last year. And I decided to go with the slightly green one because I made this build on both of these pie charts and you get more of a shooting boost on this one and you still get your hall of fame badges. And with this one as well, you get three extra defending, uh, defending rebounding badges. And I just felt like it was way more balanced. Okay. You can try this one. I know a lot of people are using this one as well, but for me, I'm going with this one. All right. Slightly green. And then for the second pie chart, it looks like everybody is going with, you know, they're trying to be getting the more speed. Like they want to be little, you know, um, ass critters out there or whatever, you know, but it's going to depend on what you're playing. If you're going to play mostly threes, I feel like you have to go with the speed pie chart. All right. Like you have to go with it. You don't have to worry about your strength or anything. But me, me personally, I like playing twos. You know, I'm a twos guy. I've always been a twos guy and I'm going to be defending other big men and speed's not going to be as crucial on the twos, you know? So I'm going to go with the last pie chart here, the balanced one. So I get some strength so I can hold these, you know, seven, three foot post scores that are going to be coming at me in the paint, you know, on the twos court, I get a little bit more vertical so I can, you know, jump and get them rebounds and I still have some speed, but you know, the two V twos is a half court setting who needs all that speed. So we're good with the, you know, the balance one. And then, yeah, guys, I know, man, I'm very analytical. I look at every single attribute and I analyze it to see how, if it's my play style and that's what you all should be doing. So if you guys just want to run super fast down the court on threes, then you don't go with the speed one. I know I'm going to get criticized on that, but I don't care, man. This is my play style. All right. So over here, we're going to fill out defense first. This is what I did over here so I can get my nine defensive rebounding uh, badges. I like having nine and gives you a good uh, amount of badges to play defense, especially on the twos. So we got to top this off until we reach the little sweet spot of nine defensive rebounding badges. Whew. And then we're going to fill out our playmaking. So we get 11 playmaking uh, badges. And then we want to fill out our driving dunk to the max and our driving layup to the max. So we can, you know, dunk and finish layups. And then the rest of the attributes are going to go to shooting 
and we're gonna get 23 shooting badges and yo guys 23 shooting badges this year is like having 27 last year because you don't have to worry about getting hall of fame quick draw you know if you guys were using a hall of fame quick draw or gold or whatever so it's like having 26 27 badges instead of 23 you know you guys gotta remember that it's like a brand new thing no more quick draw so 23 is a lot of badges all right so we don't have to max out the post fade to get the extra badges and then we have two extra attributes you guys can toss it around i heard that if you toss this into the close shot right here uh, i believe you can get the glass cleaning uh takeover but i don't really care for the glass cleaning takeover so i'm just gonna put it on offensive rebound and boom this is your badge setup one finishing 23 shooting 11 playmaking nine defensive rebounding and uh, yeah this is the build here uh what is it we're gonna put it on build and then um a lot of people are going six foot seven six foot seven is pretty short for a big guys i don't even consider it a stretch big anymore your speed skyrockets you know your your mid-range and three-point shot skyrocket a lot of things skyrocket your defense you know besides your interior defense and your rebounding gets cruised but you know i guess some people just don't care about defense but six foot seven a lot of people are making it i'm not going six foot seven you do get a 74 ball handling but i just i, I can't do six foot seven i can't and i won't so me personally i know you can do six foot nine too but you won't be able to do the cheesy dribble moves until you hit a i think a 99 overall so it's going to be a grind you're not going to be able to be able to do it off rip and that's just a pain you know so i feel like the balanced way to go with this is use a six foot eight guy so we making them six foot eight our speed's not bad you know we okay all right our mid-range and three-point shot looks low right now but we'll tweak that in a second here look look we're gonna make them um 245 i feel like it's a sweet spot you lose one acceleration but gain a couple strength and we gain some interior defense all right so i like that we don't lose any speed though 245 and then for the wingspan you want to go minimum wingspan that's an 80. look at that mid-range 87 3.84 ball handle 70 that's you know the, the the key right there 70 ball handling we can cheese or i don't want to call it cheese man because it's not really cheese but we can dribble we can do the behind the back between the legs and all of that and then you know our final results here this is what our build's gonna look like right here it's done you get a choice of three takeovers you know um i don't even know which one i'm gonna go with y'all which one let me know in the comments down below which which uh takeover are you guys are gonna choose if you make this build the shooter one the shot creator playmaker we're gonna go with the playmaker right now but let me know what do y'all think is the best takeover for this build it's gonna tell me i've made the stretch four shades of you know whoever jason tatum Kalinari. bam guys i'm feeling this build i, I kind of hate how he's six foot eight i wish it could be six foot ten but i feel like everyone's gonna be making short centers this year besides post scores and full out glass cleaners they're gonna be making you know their seven foot seven threes but it's okay we'll figure it out we'll figure what the meta is gonna be like when the game drops but uh let me max this guy out right here for you guys and we're not gonna really go over the badges i just want to show you guys the shooting badges here quick draw is gone so like i said you have more choices on where you want to place these badges now like it's wonderful wonderful yeah i like it i like it like it yeah look at that man i don't know how you guys are gonna set this up but i don't know what i'm gonna set this up with either definitely want some dead eye on gold i don't know man but yeah i'll deal with that when the game drops but yeah guys um i'm loving it man stretch bigs are back y'all gonna be able to do all them dribble moves uh that's the way I built it. I don't know how you guys are going to build it, but if you guys found a better way to get you more badges, better stats, and you're not a shrimp, let me know in the comments down below. But if you guys want to, you know, check out some more 2K21 content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, leave me a comment down below. But that's all I got for you guys. I'm the O, 
and I'll catch you on the next one.